The United Nations General Assembly has reached a resolution that demanded or that demands a, a, a humanitarian ceasefire on the war between Israel and Hamas in Gaza. The resolution demands that all parties comply with their obligations on the international law, including international humanitarian law. This comes as the President of the United States says Israel is beginning to lose global support over its indiscriminate bombing of Gaza. We have more in this report. The UN General Assembly voted by large majority demanding an immediate humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza during an emergency session. The result of the vote was 153 in favor, 10 against, and 23 abstentions. Humanitarian ceasefire. Speaking before the vote, the president of the General Assembly, Dennis Francis, reiterated that violence must stop for one singular priority, to save lives. So the fact of the matter is, quite simply, the violence must stop. It must. I therefore once again add my voice to the demand of an in, for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. We have one singular priority, only one, to save lives. Introducing the draft resolution to the General Assembly, Egyptian Ambassador Osama Mahmoud Abdel Kalek Mahmoud said, quote, the adoption and implementation of the draft resolution by the General Assembly calling for a ceasefire is the only guarantee for saving innocent civilians. <laughs> the United States is amongst the countries that voted against the resolution. It proposed an amendment to the resolution, but did not gain the majority in a separate vote. And taking civilians hostage. Speaking before the vote, the U.S. Ambassador Linda Thomas Greenfield said, the U.N. condemns with one voice Hamas terrorist actions on the 7th of October. Why is that so hard to say unequivocally that murdering babies and gunning down parents in front of their children is horrific, that burning down houses while families shelter inside t and taking civilians hostage is abhorrent. If this body's intentions... Israeli Ambassador Gilad Eden also spoke before the vote. He said, by voting in favor of the resolution, members will be supporting the survival of jihadist terror and the continued suffering of the people of Gaza. No piece of paper, especially he added one that no that piece of paper, especially one that is adopted by a biased political majority, will prevent Israel from defending itself against Israel those that seek its destruction. The exploitation of the Palestinians has made the UN a moral stain on humanity. Why are you continuing to allow them to make the United Nations irrelevant. If this body's intentions are just, why don't you just start by demanding a ceasefire only from those responsible for violating the past too? Why don't you hold the rapists and child murderers accountable? Israel is fighting a war for her future. There is not a single member state here, not a single member state here that would act differently in a similar situation. Speaking to reporters outside the General Assembly Hall after the vote, Palestinian Ambassador Riyad Mansour said the draft resolution demands an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. He added that Palestine will not rest until it sees the compliance of Israel with the demand from the General Assembly. This draft resolution demands an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Let me repeat, demands. The language of demands, it has the power of implementation. It does not call for or urges, it demands. And we will not rest until we see compliance uh, of Israel with this demand from the General Assembly so that we can see a ceasefire in place, so that we can move into the massive, uh, you know, 
uh, amount of truckloads of uh, assistance, humanitarian assistance of food, medicine, uh, uh, water, and fuel in order to run the hospitals, to, to run the uh, uh, plants for desalination, and all needs of uh, the things that we need uh, our people to need for survival. Mr. Mossoud emphasized that the resolution is historic in terms of the powerful message sent by the General Assembly and the collective duty of members to continue in the path of peace until an end to the war is found.